Oh my god. Oh my god, Cole, he's gonna drown. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Cole, can you go share and help them? Stay. My god. Very deep. This is why you want to turn around, don't drown. You want to heed those barriers. Do not try to go around those barriers that emergency personnel have put out for your safety around these floodwaters. Uh, thankfully, nobody was hurt, but this easily could have gone south. You can see a lot of the fog here, definitely showing you the very tropical moisture that's in place. See the low cloud deck. We're gonna be headed up into the fog. Flash flood chase mode, operational. And I'm just entering the flash flood warning just south of Caesars Head State Park. I just crossed the North Saluda River. Had a ton of flow in it. Definitely at flood stage. Certainly seeing some flooding already along the North Saluda River. starting to see these little waterfalls on either side of the road. I'm seeing some ponding as well, definitely showing where that three, four, five, six inches of rain fell. There you can see one of those waterfalls back behind me. Headed up in elevation. Sucked in the fog. Ton of moisture up here, Caesar's Head area. Heavy rain continues to dominate. First, I'm gonna sample high falls in the flash flood warning. Here is the High Falls Loop. That'll give me a look at Triple Falls and High Falls. Already start to see the flow out there. Holy cow. See some evidence of a bigger flash flood in the past. Maybe even last night. Here you can see the flash flood at High Falls at DuPont State Forest National Park. But usually this is a recreation area, it's totally dry. People out here in horses, hikers, mountain bikers throughout this area. Look at this flash flood debris here. All these big logs just banked up against this area from a larger flash flood that came down, throws this debris up into the edge of the cliff. But you can see how quickly this can become dangerous and life-threatening, especially with heavy rainfall upstream. Well, I'm going to get the drone in the air for a closer look. floods on the High Falls Loop so far. Now I'm about to take the Triple Falls Trail and pop down here. Triple Falls, again, normally just a very gentle, mellow waterfall, but it is absolutely raging like Niagara Falls today. Flow speed likely now exceeding 2,000 cubic feet per second.
Now I'm headed toward Hendersonville. There are some road closures out there along Mud Creek, and I'm gonna be looking at some of the urban flash flooding downstream of DuPont State Forest. Uh, radar indicated over eight inches of rain over the last six hours up here near the North Carolina, South Carolina border. It's a ton of water, and it's not a surprise that there's a lot of life-threatening flash flooding here around the mountainous terrain of Western North Carolina.